Hello and welcome to Mtandao Pro Web Designer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to allow payments on your e-commerce website via credit cards and debit cards. So before we start, I would like to show you a quick demo of how this works. So this is my e-commerce website. So let's assume a customer wants to purchase, let's say this laptop. So of course they will add it to cart. Okay, and then uh, the product has been added to cart. So when they click on view cart, so you can see uh, the product is ready for, you know, for purchase. So when you click on proceed to checkout, of course, you will be required to fill in your billing details. So let me do that very fast that way. So you can see that down here there is a button that says pay with PayPal and then at the top here there is a statement that pay with PayPal. You can pay with your credit card if you don't have a PayPal account. So there are many ways of allowing payments via credit cards and debit cards on your e-commerce website. The most popular one is Stripe. But unfortunately, Stripe is not available in all countries. But don't worry about that because there is also a very reliable way that personally I have used because Stripe is also not available in my country. And this is PayPal Express Checkout. So when a customer clicks on, on, on this button, they will have two options. One, to pay with PayPal or to use their credit card or their debit card to make this payment. So uh, on this pop-up, uh, they will be required to pay with PayPal, but if they don't want to pay with PayPal, what they need to do is just to click on this button, create an account at the bottom, and this will provide or will, um, you know, provide to them a form where they can be able to fill in their card details. So you can see this form, they can fill in their card details and then at the bottom down here, they can click on agree and continue to make this payment. So that is how a customer can pay using uh, credit cards and debit cards on your e-commerce website. So that is exactly what we are going to do in this video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so now the first thing that you need to do, of course, is to log in into your uh, dashboard, the admin dashboard of your website. So, uh, WP admin. So, I'm going to log in. Okay, so this is my admin dashboard. So, of course, you must have the WooCommerce plugin installed. So, if you do not have the WooCommerce plugin installed, you need to first install it. So to install this plugin, all you need to do is to go to, you know, plugins and then click add new. Okay, you just need to search on this search bar, WooCommerce, WooCommerce. Uh, so there it is, this first plugin, WooCommerce plugin by automatic. That is the plugin we need. So if you don't have it, Please ensure it's first installed before we can proceed to integrate uh, credit cards and debit card payments on your website. So after you are done with that, uh, we can now uh, proceed with installing another plugin. So we are going to install a plugin. So uh, as I told you, the name of the plugin is PayPal checkout so just type paypal paypal checkout paypal checkout okay so the plugin that we need is this one this first one by woocommerce so it must be by woocommerce that is the one that we're going to use so if you haven't uh you know installed it uh, you're, you, you're going you're going first to install it so you install and then you activate that plugin so I have already installed 
that's why it says active but for yours if you haven't installed it should be the button should read install now so after you install and you activate that plugin the next thing that we need to do is to go to woocommerce so you can see woocommerce we hover you, you hover on woocommerce and then you move downwards to where you have settings so once we are there uh, at the top we need to go to payments and there should be a new payment method that has been added to the list of payment method uh, payment methods available for you that is this one paypal checkout so you need to enable it if it's not enabled you first enable it okay and then after you enable it at on your right the first the farthest uh, right corner there is a button that says manage so you need to click on that button manage so what we want to do now is to connect it to connect it with your paypal account yeah where you will be getting the payments so that's what we need to do so what we need to do after we are we have arrived at that point um uh, so you can see uh this uh, th there's a button here that says set up or link an existing PayPal account or click here to toggle manual API credential input. So we're going to click on click here to toggle manual API credential input. So uh, we need the live API username, live API password and live API signature of your PayPal account. So let me show you how to get these credentials so the first thing that you need to do is to log in into your paypal account so i'll go to paypal.com paypal.com click login so i will log in into my into my paypal account okay okay so this is my paypal account so what i need to do is to go to tools at the top here you can see tools and then uh, go to where you have all tools all tools then scroll down to where you have integrate paypal so you can see at the bottom left corner you have integrate paypal so i click on that and then I'll have three options PayPal buttons, API credentials, and PayPal checkout. So I click on API credentials, I click on open. Okay, and then I scroll down to where I have NVP. So you can see NVP slash SOAP API integration. So I click on manage API credentials. Okay, so uh, if this is your first time, mostly they will have to confirm your identity. So they will send a text message to your phone number. So uh, you just need to click on next. So you will receive a security code uh, on your phone number. So all you need to do is to, to uh, you know, copy the code and paste it right here. So let me do that very fast. Okay, so once you have uh, confirmed your identity, you will be redirected to this page. So here now you can be able to see your credentials. So at the top here you can see uh, API username. This is my API username, my API password. There it is. Then I have my API certificate. It says active because i have already activated it so if you haven't activated yours all you need to do is to download it so you will see an option for downloading the certificate you will download the certificate okay so once you download the certificate you can see it's downloading so i will now go back to my to my woocommerce so where I have live API username, I will paste that. I will just come and copy my live API username. So here it is. I'll just copy it. Okay. 
come back to WooCommerce and paste it there. Then I copy my API password. There it is. I copy the password and I paste it where I have a API password. I paste it. And then there are two options here. You can either uh you can either provide the live API signature or the live API certificate. For me, I prefer the certificate, but uh, if you prefer the signature, it's okay. You can still use it. It's still available on the on the on your PayPal uh, uh, account. So you can either use certificate or signature. So, but for me, I prefer certificate. So after I downloaded the certificate, I'm now going to upload it. I'm going to upload it here. So you can see there is an option of choosing file. And then I will select, I will select the file that I just downloaded. So there it is. I open it. So you select it. And then uh, the other thing you need to do is to ensure that where you have landing page, at the, you can see landing page, you ensure it is not set to login PayPal account so that even if you don't have a PayPal account, you can be able to, to pay. So you make sure you set it to billing non-PayPal account. So after you have done that, I think every other thing is set right. So all you need to do is to go down to the bottom and click on save changes. Click on save changes and you see it says my settings have been saved. So that is it. So now um, we have integrated payments via paper and debit or credit cards. So I want us to confirm whether it's working. So I'm going to log out. So log out and then go to my website. Okay. So let me try to purchase a product. So let, let me this time round try to purchase these a watch. Okay. So uh, that is the watch. So I click on add to cart. Okay. So it has been added to cart. So when I click on view cart. Uh, I can now proceed to checkout. Okay, so let me fill in these details very fast. Okay, and then click on PayPal on that button. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> the reason why it's saying that uh, the account you are logging in is belongs to the seller is because I'm using the same email address to try to purchase yet it is it is mine already so what you need to do is to click on create an account for you to uh, make the payment using credit or debit card so you click on create an account and then uh, there it is now you will have an option of filling in your card details for you to proceed with the checkout. So that is it for this video. If you find it helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video like this, you will be the first one to get notified. So thank you for watching and goodbye for now.